making his way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 272 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. It's been well documented that when growing up in Dublin, Ireland, Sheamus, with his pale snow white skin and fiery red hair, felt like an outsider, an outcast. He's remained angry his whole life and in the process became one of the most awesome WWE superstars we have today. Well, you can tell just by looking at the Celtic Warrior that he's kept that anger and uses it when he enters the ring. I think Sheamus projects that anger onto his opponents. Making his way to the ring from Silsby, Texas, weighing in at 418 pounds, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Mark Henry has said to those who think he's an underachiever that they should watch him in action tonight. Yeah, well, I think Mark Henry's change in attitude has ensured that the world's strongest man is going to go in and get the job done. And from Toronto, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Christian. King Christian may have let the pressure of being world champ get to him. Yeah, you're right, Michael, he may have. But we're going to see tonight if Captain Charisma himself can put it all back together and leave here the number one contender to Randy Orton's World Heavyweight Championship. I don't think you can pick a winner in this one. I wonder which two superstars have joined forces first. Well, Cole, alliances are always formed and dissolved in triple threat matches. Remember, it's every man for himself. And I think if you're Christian competing in this one, you'd want to align yourself with one of these monsters as opposed to them joining forces to crush them. Mark Henry's got him! And I think he's begging him to bring it. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. And the neckbreaker connects. And the way this match unfolded, one has to wonder what it'll mean for Mark Henry. I think Mark Henry is going to continue to launch attacks on anyone in his way until he becomes the World Heavyweight Champion. It's that simple. Oh, man. And a jaw-jacking punch. And Christian manages to reverse out of that one. One word describes this assault. Punishment. He's absolutely punishing his opponent here. Christian reverses thing. Henry's in trouble. Oh my, an explosive suplex. Oh no, wait a minute, Cole, what's he gonna do here? Mark Henry feels like he's been disrespected. The world's strongest man looks like he's going to take a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, whether he's technically next in line or not. Mark Henry's been in this company for more than 15 years. He's of the strong opinion that he deserves a title match against World Heavyweight Champion Randy Orton. Well, if there's one person in WWE who has no regard for the power rankings, it's Mark Henry. When someone decides the strength of Mark Henry feels disrespected, that's not a good thing for anyone, especially the World Heavyweight Champion Randy Orton. Whoa! Sheamus getting a little touched up early here. The Celtic Warrior's not in the best place. 
He needs to regroup before things get worse. Yeah, Sheamus needs to turn this around because this whole thing could be over with one world's strongest slam for Mark Henry or one kill switch for Christian. You know, the challenge is always first being able to take Mark Henry off his feet. And the world's strongest man's taking some shots here. This might just tick Mark Henry off more than anything else. Yeah, if you're Christian or Sheamus in this one, you have to keep the attack going because if Mark Henry turns the tables on you, whoo, watch out. The way tonight's match ended, I'm curious to see if it will result in further hostility between Sheamus and Christian or Christian and Randy. Well, I don't think it'll make them close for that's it. He's done. Sheamus needs to go on offense here before he gets picked apart for good. Yeah, just by looking at Sheamus, you can tell he's in bad shape. The Celtic Warrior needs to find a way to regroup for his dream of becoming world champ. It's going to be over. Oh, Christian's getting the fight brought to him, that's for sure. I don't know how Christian can overcome this adversity. 270 pounds of Sheamus uh. and over 400 pounds of Mark Henry. Oh, man. Christian needs to figure out a way to stick and move in this one. Mark Henry's taking some punishment here, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough to put him away anytime soon. Well, we're reaching a critical point. Mark Henry looks to still have the power to turn the tide. But if he gets rocked with another series of moves, he could be in some real big trouble. This has definitely been a physical encounter, and the world's strongest man is bearing the brunt of it. Cole, I just wonder if Mark Henry's reached the point where he will be unable to power out of a pin attempt. Mark Henry's known for having a high tolerance for pain, but this could be it. Yeah, this is definitely a role reversal for Mark Henry. Usually he's so dominant. We could be seeing the beginning of the end, Cole. And he's heading back inside the ring. And another huge move. Oh boy. Here he goes. Trying to turn it. Oh, and he hit it. Christian hit it. Here's the cover. And who the? Mark Henry. Mark Henry just pulled Christian right out of the ring. And now here's Randy Orton who's out apparently to get a, a closer look at who his number one contender's going to be. And I think Randy Orton may be on his way down here. You gotta wonder if Orton's uh, rooting for anybody in particular. Before Christian thought he had the match won before. He did have the match won. Mark Henry got involved. Christian had hit the kill switch. He'd gone for the cover. The referee got to two. And then Mark Henry yanked Christian by the leg right out onto the floor. And now here's Randy Orton. But what? He's going to just sit down and watch? Well, Orton's going to sit here and observe now. I guess he'll make his choice later. Oh, man. And it looks like we could be heading back into the ring. And he's heading back in. And Christian, you know, he's been doing everything he can, King, to try to win this match, and maybe that'll do it. Sheamus is reeling. Christian. Whoa! Tornado DDT. How did Sheamus kick out of that? I, mean, I thought he, it was finished. He just doesn't give up, does he? Oh. What is Mark Henry doing? Mark Henry just shot Randy Orton down. What's he thinking here? Now he's getting into the ring. What on earth? Oh, look at this face-off between Mark Henry and Christian. What's going to happen here? He leaps into the air for a flying forearm. How much more? Oh, oh and a spear! And now Orton! And Orton with an RKO to Mark Henry! Absolutely chaotic here! This is Bedlam! Is the match still going? It, it is! Two! And oh. Shane is kicked! Christian should have won the thing, but the referee was busy with Henry and Orton. Randy, look at the ring. I'm getting out of the ring. I can't Orton. do 
doesn't know what to think. I don't know what to think either. What's going on here? Christian, look out! Oh, the front kick by Sheamus. Here's the cover. Huge win. Sheamus is victorious. Here is your winner and the number one contender, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Randy Orton's going to be facing the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, but... I mean, Christian's got to be devastated. Right about that. I think Randy's got to be having second thoughts as to, is this what he wanted? He knows he has Christian's number, but how will he fare against the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus?